Hello artists, are you ready for the next stage on your Wayne Tebow desserts? We are going to do something called gradation, where you're going from light to dark, and we're using something called tints and shades. We're starting with tints first. Tints are where you take any color and we add white, and that make the, makes the color lighter. In our case, we're going to start light and make it darker, because that's just easier to do. So we're going to take a little bit of your main hue. Hue is the pure unmixed color. And we're going to put that hue in the white and you stir it completely. This means there will not be any more white left on your tray. It will all be a different color. In my case, it's going to be a super, super light brown. And I'm going to start out I want my lightest color to be at the top of my dessert. If you get a little bit out of bounds on the side, that's okay, because we're gonna cut them out later. And I'm going to add a little swoosh in there. So my dessert looks a little more interesting. When we're painting, make sure you are pulling the brush across the page. You're not shoving it like a broom or a mop. Pull gently. Okay, more brown in the light color. Stir completely until the whole color has changed. Test a little bit to make sure it's darker. If you don't see enough of a difference, you can always add more of your hue to your tint. And then repeat. And when you are painting these little lines of color, you don't want any little white streaks showing. You can't go back and fix them later because your color will be different. It will be mixed. Okay, now you're going to clean your brush and switch lids. Before I start mixing anything, I'm going to take the clean brush and the pure color, and I'm painting the pure unmixed color on here underneath my tint. It's important that your brush is clean when you do this so you're not accidentally getting white in it. And notice how I'm going over the edge a little bit. That's because it's getting cut later and I don't wanna have any little white spots showing. All right, when we're mixing, it's always best to put the dark color in the light color. The first time I put the brown in the white. So this time I need to put what in what? I need to put the black in the brown. And now we're making something called shades, which is where you add black to any color to make it darker. Black is really powerful. A little bit goes a long way. So you just add a little tiny bit at a time. So now it's going to start looking like fudge or dark chocolate. And as we did before, you mix completely so the lighter color is gone. And repeat. Now we don't want the bottom to be totally black, so you're going to stop before it gets to that point. If you have a lot of room left, just keep painting in the same pattern that you had going. 